What's happening guys? Today we are going to go over the technology degree tier list updated for 2021 and we're going to be basically ranking bachelor level technology degrees from S tier which is the best to F tier which is the worst. Now I'm not going to uh, drag the intro on too long. We're going to get right into it uh, right after you gently boop the like button and let's do it. So this is going to be a relatively quick one. Now, one thing I will say about technology uh, degrees is there's a lot of them and you know, some of them are very similar to each other. There's like very subtle differences. Now I'm not going to have time to explain all those differences. And I'm also not going to go too much into the numbers because I've made many videos in the past that dive into the numbers, but overall technology degrees are very solid when it comes to the statistics, like how much you get paid, job satisfaction, etc. Now, first of all, let's get computer science out of the way. That one is obviously S tier. Next on the list is going to be information technology. And I think everybody knows what like IT guys are, information technology people. They basically help businesses with the technology side of things. Now, overall, when it comes to the numbers, this one is pretty solid. There are better ones on the list but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be information technology management. So this one is very similar to information technology, but it also adds in the leadership and management side of things. Now, I've talked about this many times on the channel, but if you go into management level positions, you tend to make way more money. So if you're able to combine your information technology skills with some business and management skills, companies are going to love you. So this one is gonna go into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be cybersecurity. Now, this is one where, in my opinion, I could see it exploding and becoming even better in the next five years. It's still pretty good right now. Last year, I think I ranked it A tier. I could see this one going into S tier. You know, you see all these scandals where people's information gets leaked from, you know, Equifax or Target. And this ends up costing companies millions of dollars uh, directly and also indirectly because their brand takes a hit. So I could see this one being S tier soon, but right now I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Very similar to cybersecurity is information security and assurance. This is a rare degree. Not many universities have it, but the statistics on this one are slightly better than even cybersecurity. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Next on the list is going to be information science. Now this is a really interesting one because it's taking something that is booming right now, which is you know information science, data science, and you're combining that technical aspect of things with a social science side of things as well. So this basically studies how people and societies interact with information and technology. So it's basically studying how humans interact with the digital world. So you can see why this one would be extremely useful in the modern world. And uh, for that reason, I am gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I put it B tier last year. I'm gonna put it A tier this year. All right, so next one on the list is going to be computer graphics technology. Now this one kind of combines your technical skills with a little bit of creative skills as well. And basically it's all about analyzing and communicating ideas visually. So for instance, you might get this degree and then go into video game creation. So it can be a decent one, but compared to the other uh, technology related degrees, the statistics aren't as good, I have to be honest with you. Could be right for you know a certain person, certain type of person, but this one is gonna go into D tier. Next one is going to be telecommunications, and this is basically a combination of a communications degree with a IT degree, a technology degree. So it's gonna be all about communicating using technology. So for instance, communicating over the phone, communicating via video, uh, sometimes it's like a live stream, sometimes it's like YouTube where it's more one-way communication. So overall, when it comes to the statistics, this one is okay. Uh, it's kind of middle of the pack. Um, it's not as bad as some of the other ones, but it's also not on the you know B or A tier level. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be network administration, and this is gonna be very similar to an information technology degree. Now, a lot of the time, if you get a network administration degree, you're going to be competing for the same exact jobs as people who get an IT degree. Except the problem is network administration is more limited than information technology. So it's that old problem I've talked about many times on this channel where certain degrees kind of pigeonhole you into careers, whereas other degrees are much more flexible. And that's probably why the statistics on this one aren't as good as information technology. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into D tier. 
Next one on the list is going to be computer information systems. Now this one is very similar to management information systems, which is a really good business related degree that's kind of combined with technology, but it has a little bit more of an emphasis on the technology and the information side of things. But overall, the statistics are very good uh, with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into A tier. Now I didn't put anything into F tier this year, but I will say there are a lot of super random uh, technology degrees out there, right? And they have the word technology in them. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're a legit tech degree, right? So there's one I saw, I, I use this as an example in the you know top five worst technology degrees. It was like printing technology. That is way too specific. So uh, one thing you wanna look out for if you are looking to get into uh, technology is degrees that are too specific. That's one weakness that I see over and over again with a lot of these tech degrees. So like printing technology, for instance, unless you 100%, 110% know that you are just obsessed with printers. It's just like your, your, your life goal is to be the best in the world at printing technology, then you probably don't wanna get that degree. You wanna get a different degree that's very similar, maybe information technology, something along those lines, maybe even an engineering degree might be better, like an electrical engineering degree. And then you're gonna be able to still do the same job, but you're also going to have a lot more flexibility as well. Okay, so those types of degrees, in my opinion, would go into F tier. Um, unless you really know what you're getting yourself into, you've done your research. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.